Football Hard Knocks is brought to you by Grassland Dairy. Visit grassland.com today. Third and eight from the 28. Back to pass. Receivers in the end zone. This one lofted and is, oh, not, well, hold on, hold on. They're going to call, they're going to make a call here, and it's a touchdown. That ball was bobbled in the air. It was touched three times, and Alex Wilford from his back catches it with no time left on the clock. Auburndale will win this one in dramatic fashion here on the road in Greenwood. The team now turns its attention to a road game in Port Edwards as they look for their first win on the season. Perhaps senior running back Sully Whitford can help get things straightened out. What's up, guys? My big boy up front. Oh, yeah. He's also watching film. Always. We got to get ready for the game. Got to know what's going on. Got to be prepared. Good morning, everybody. My name is Sully Whitford. I'm a senior at Greenwood High School, and this is a day in the life. All right, every morning, I usually come downstairs after waking up. School starts at 8. It's about 7.30 right now. We're going to make some toast with some cinnamon and sugar. Classic game day. All right, it's about that time that I start heading to school. We're going we're gonna to take a cruise mobile today. Heated seats are on. It's gonna be a good drive. All right, we're at your everyday essential store. We're gonna get some hot chocolate. Get us started for the day. All right, everybody, we have arrived. As you can see, we're practicing uh, social distancing, wearing masks. We're gonna try to prevent the corona as much as possible so we can still do the things like sports and clubs. First class is study hall. We'll get right to it, we'll watch some film. Today is a pretty easy day, it's a Friday. I think I have three study halls today, block scheduling all an hour and a half. We have a lot of free time today. We're in the study hall. We're just getting some filming. Got a bunch of free time. No better way than the study for the next team. I think the only other football player in here is Austin right now. What's up, guys? My big boy up front. Oh, yeah. He's also watching film. Always. We got to get ready for the game. Got to know what's going on. Got to be prepared. See you guys in the next class. Final product. Are you guys have Fletcher, what do you think of it? Uh, not gonna lie, would not recommend though eat a cheese, but Nate, uh, he's got a point. The All muffins right. is good though. The muffins is muffins fire. The muffins is good. Shout out to Miss Janky. Wave. Alright, after a second study hall, we're here. Lunchtime. Chicken nuggets, apple, applesauce. Still practicing social distancing. Um, Austin, one of my big boys up front. Weston, wide receiver. We just got dismissed, it's 12.30 right now. Um, I'm gonna go get my football pads and everything set up. We gotta get dressed before we get on the bus. All right, everybody, I hope you can hear me through my mask. It's kind of loud on the bus. Um, it's 1.10, we're leaving Greenwood, everyone has their headphones in, getting hyped up, listening to some pump up music for the game. It's about an hour and a, hour and 15 minute drive, I think, until we're in Port Edwards, and then it's warm ups, and then it's game time. We're here, we made it, an hour and a half early, it's like 2.30 right now. I honestly don't know what we're going to do for 30 minutes. It's game. <laughs> um, I guess we'll turn it over to Mr. Zaleski. Welcome football fans to Port Edwards as the home first place Blackhawks come in with a record of 2-0. 
And the visiting Greenwood Indians looking for their first win of the season. The end round goes to Whitford. He has a block there from Hinker. And Sullivan Whitford will run it in from 29 yards out. You'll see here on the replay, Rogan Travis with a seal on the left end and wide receiver Dakota Clark held his block just long enough for Whitford to go in untouched. Port Edwards now back to punt, and it's blocked to the punt block by Austin Ruff. From the four-yard line, handoff goes to the far side. He's tackled in the end zone. Safety. Third possession of the quarter and third and eight for the Blackhawks. Snap comes back, ball's on the ground, rolls out, ball is out, who has it? Greenwood, football. Redlow keeps and pounds it in from two yards out. Whitford flies through the middle of the field and blasts the quarterback, and he has the sack. Ball floated down the sideline, and it's picked off by Whitford. Ready to start the second half. Greenwood leads 56-6. The kick goes to the 12-yard line and taken there by Whitford. Whitford blasted out of a cannon. He's through the 50, and Whitford will go the distance. An 88-yard touchdown for Sully Whitford. Greenwood picks up its first win of the season, 80-16, on a pair of three touchdown performances by Xander Hinker and Sully Whitford. Varsity was taken out at halftime. My running back's a beast right here. Xander Hinker, unit right here. Three touchdowns. Weston didn't score. Um, played a good game. Offense and defense, we were there everywhere. Making tackles, finding the ball. Running the ball, breaking ankles, we were all there. All right, everybody. Everyone's loaded up. Coaches are coming right now. Um, we got another long ride back home. Let's see what he has to say. Got anything to say, Coach? He said, "Woohoo!" All right, update. Made it back to the school. There's a volleyball game going on right now. We're going to see if we can get in. Um, we don't have our tickets, but maybe they'll be nice. Hey, everybody. I'm back home. We're about to go to bed. A dog. A movie. Better way to end it. And uh, thank you all for watching. Good morning, everybody. My name is Sully Whitford. I'm a senior at Greenwood High School, and this is a day in my life. Greenwood 
Football Hard Knocks is brought to you by Grassland Dairy. Visit grassland.com today.